so this question is search in the matrix basically the problem statement is that you are given matrix and the numbers are arranged in a sorted order with row and column so you can see here in this example uh, if you see each row it has been sorted in the ascending order and same is with the column and you are given a number so you need to return whether number is present in this matrix or not so the simple solution will be to just have two loops and traverse all the elements and return uh, check and return whether that element is present or not but uh, that will basically have a complexity of m into n right because we are traversing in the worst case we are traversing all the elements so we will take the advantage that it is sort it in the sorted order and we will try to reduce the complexity now let's see how we can do that so uh, our algorithm is pretty simple we will start from here the bottom left corner and let's try to see the pattern suppose i need to find a number 54 okay so uh, to find that number we have started from this corner see if the number is greater than the number that we have to find we will uh, have to go to the next column but if the number is lower than that number we have to go to the upper row so we will follow this algorithm you can see that all the numbers above this are lower and all the numbers in the column are greater so so we will follow the same algorithm and try to find the number is present or not in the worst case if the number is not present basically two things can happen either because we are starting from this position uh, we have to take care of the row and the column number right so in the worst case our row number can become less than 0 and our column can become more than whatever the column number is right so this will be our base condition so let's try to see how the algorithm will work we will just have two conditions first is if the current element that we are traversing is larger basically just move to the row so our initial count of row will be max row max minus 1 and column will be 0 because we are starting from this position so if this is larger basically we will do r minus minus and if it is smaller we will do column plus plus right because we have to go to the next column and our base condition will be that row should be greater than equal to 0 and and column must be less than column max so this is our full algorithm let's try with the example right so let's delete everything and dry run for an example okay so suppose we need to find 38 okay <clears throat> our current element is 57 row column so first we'll in initialize row as 2 that is and column as 0 right so this is 57 and what we need to find is 38 so because 38 is less than 57 we'll decrement the row row will become 3 Uh, sorry row will become 1 and column will be 0 so our pointer will be here now again because this number is greater than what we have to find our row will become 0 and column will be 0 now our pointer will be here again we'll go to here and check now in this case whatever the element we need to find is greater so the row will remain same and column will be incremented to 1 now we are here again this number is greater right so our 
row will be 0 and column will become 2. Finally, we are here and the matching happens. Because this element is equal, we return true. Now, suppose in case this element was not present, it was something else like 39. So, in this case, what will happen? Because this number is greater, we will try to decrement the row. But if when the row becomes minus 1, it will not satisfy the base condition and come out and return false because we have checked all the possibilities and the number is not present. So, this is the algorithm. Now, I'll show you a code snippet and let's see how it is done. So, this is the code snippet and this is a geeks for geeks prompt. So, as you can see, we have initialized the start i that is the column uh, rowth index to n minus 1 and j to 0 which is the corresponding column index. We will check for the condition that i should be greater than 0 and j should be less than whatever the column count is, right? Now if the number is matching with whatever number we need to search, we will simply return 1. Otherwise, we will check the following two conditions, okay, sorry. If this element is greater, whatever element, current element we have, if this is greater, we will simply reduce the count of row number. If this element is not greater and smaller, we will simply uh, increment the column. So, this is the code, let's try to submit it. See, it has passed. So, give a thumbs up if you like this algorithm.